Okay, so let's fire up the Windows Home Server 2011 dashboard and have a quick look around. So I've actually created a shortcut on my desktop, and so I'm going to double click that. It's going to ask me for the password, so I'm going to put that in. And it's going to load up the dashboard for me. And there we are, there's the dashboard. So as you can see across the top, we've got five tabs, home, users, which show us our users, and we can add accounts, delete accounts, change passwords, change policies, etc. Computers and backup, which again lists the computers, including the server. And we can see alert information, we can set up a backup for the server, we can restore server files, change server password etc come back to that the server folders and hard drives right this is new we've now got two tabs the first tab is server folders and that this lists out all of the server folders and their locations so in this case they're all on the d drive because that's my only data drive if we click on the hard drives tab this will actually show all of the different hard drives or the, the volumes that are set up so in my case a C and a D and then obviously we've got the add-ins so that was a quick look at the, home, the Windows Home Server 2011 dashboard